Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the final regular season matchup of the year, guys. Number 14, UC Davis, 8-3 on the season, coming off the biggest upset of all time last week against the Montana Grizzlies, where they were down 31 to nothing at the half in Ashley Jackson's first career start under center. And they stormed back. And they were able to come back and get that victory. Just a monumental comeback. I, I don't think we'll ever see it again. That's it's 31 points. It's crazy. We did see a 24-point comeback yesterday, though. Um, who was that? South Dakota State. That's right. Um, but they're going to be taking on Northeastern Huskies. They're 3-7 and seven this season. They've lost three straight. They were on track to get to the bowl season. And, well, you know, I don't know what happened, but they're not going to get a bowl game this season. Uh, the Aggies, 20th-ranked offense in the country. Number four defense. We did see Montana just shred this defense pretty much right up the middle with their running back all game long. Well, all the first half last week. But let's see if uh, we can contain the Huskies here today. Take a look back at the Montana game. 31-0. We missed a field goal right before the first half ended. And then the second half, I mean, we just we turned it on. And, <laughs> you know, we pushed the gas to the floor. And never let go. 26 points in the fourth quarter to get the win. One of the craziest games you'll ever see. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. Even if you do know the outcome. Amazing game. Well, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. The final game of the regular season. This is homecoming for the UC Davis Aggies. We call it senior day, but I mean, there's there's really no seniors, so it doesn't really matter too much. All right, let's go all blue for this game. Let's do it. I'm ready. Pull up my chat on my phone. See all you beautiful people in there. Northeastern, 118th in the country. There's only 119 teams in college football, folks. Well, at least in this this game. Go ahead and slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community today to get your college football career started in Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. We'll be adding new recruits in the offseason, which is coming up very quickly. All we have left is three conference championship games to go and then the bowl season. Michael Gregory in the chat. Sean D., Marvin Joseph, and Tyler Rocky. What's going on, everybody? Let's get it. Come on, Zeus. Get him. There we go. Zeus Williams on the stop. Let's take a look at that UC Davis defense. Andrew Jackson at defensive end. Demarcus Webb on the other side. Caleb Chubb at D tackle. Linebacking core of Elijah Christian, Zachary Hyde, and Zeus Williams. In the secondary, Zach Pryor, RJ Simons at corner. Trey Henry III at free safety. Everett Garrison and Jason Huntsberger are the strong safeties. Nice stop on the first play. That's Andrew Jackson. And I realized the stream is a little laggy. I forgot to close out my my window. Apologies. Should be good to go now. All right, third and inches. Where are the Huskies? And that is deflected away. And who was that? Zachary Hyde with a deflection. Ponies versus Huskies. We know who's winning this race. Yes, sir. All right. We get a three and out to start the ball game. The last game of season three. This is the last regular season game. Yes, sir. And Jaquan Brown on the return from the 27. And breaks a tackle. Jaquan up to the 32-yard line. Let's take a look at the offense for UC Davis. We started off a bit rough last week. Here they are. Ashley Jackson, she gets the start. 
Owen Black is injured. He will be back for the bowl game. Lito Lozano, Tyreek Taylor, and Wyatt Geddes are the halfbacks. Receiving core, Jaquan Brown, Sam Gatlin, and true freshman uh, Travis Owens. And at tight end, true freshman Nicholas Warner. He has been clutch all season long. Most of his catches are for first downs or touchdowns. Try to put in some work with Ashley Jackson. Get her some experience, some more experience. She will most likely be the starter next season. Oh, baby, there's the offensive line we know and love. Oh, my goodness. Offensive line is like a wet paper bag. That's tough. Third and 11 coming up after the sack and fumble. Who wants it? He's open. Oh, Jaquan, so close. What an effort as he lays out for the catch. Just can't quite come up with it. I love the effort, though. I'm not upset with him. Literally did all he could right there. All right, Durbin on for the punt. We saw him a lot last week in the first half. Yeah, he is not the best punter in the world, that is for sure. Where are you going, buddy? Nowhere. Zeus Williams on the tackle. All right, first and 10 from the 35. And can't quite get there, overthrown. Second down and 10. Shotgun set for the Huskies. And surprisingly, they can hear the play call. And incomplete. Another overthrow from number 12. I don't know what his name is. I'm sure I'll see it in a sec. Third down and 10. Can we get another three and out? Fritz is the quarterback. He's going to throw left side wide open. And that is dropped. Some sloppy play by both offenses so far in the game. Just two minutes in and not a whole lot of action. After the FCS Dynasty, we have to finish EFL. Uh, after uh, the bowl games are all finished up, I'm going to jump right back into the North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty. We're going to finish that off. And then after that is over, we will get back into the EFL. All right, Jaquan, let's get it. Nice spin. And up to the 24. I'll take it. O-line looking like oil and water. Yes, sir. In real life, Northeastern just continued the football program a decade ago. It's all good. We like to... We like to, you know, bring things back on this channel. Just like Savannah State, they're not FCS anymore. They are Division Two. Who's open? Anybody? Nope, we're going to take off. Let's go, Ashley. And we move the chains. No, we don't. There's a flag for holding. Fantastic. Is it Hewitt? It's Hewitt, isn't it? Yep. Left tackle. He's awful. Get him out of here. Oh, boy. Can we just get something to work? Anything? Maybe? The only difference between this game and the game against Montana is Northeastern has not scored. That's it. Our team is still playing terribly on offense. As Tyreek Taylor lowers his head and tries to take on four defenders. You love to see it. Picks up eight yards, though. I'll take that. Second and 11 coming up. Parker Thomas in the chat. Alex Acosta, Jay Washington. All you beautiful people. What is this blocking? Hewitt, you're trash, man. I can't do it anymore. I gotta bench him. Oh my goodness. He was a subscriber player, but you know what? He's not in the Discord anymore. He's garbage. Get him out of here. We'll put a true freshman in there. Third and 19.
110th ranked defense in the nation, and they are just sticking it to us right now. Wide open. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, mama. All right, I guess we're punting it away again. Get there. Let's go. Oh, man. Not too often do I, I bench players mid-game like that. But Hewitt is just getting destroyed. He's holding people. It's a disaster at this point. Nice hit by Zachary Hyde. Let's go. That's what we need. We need big hits. Get some momentum. Little Mike in the chat. What's up, Mike? Oh, wow. Okay, then. What a rainbow pass. Cue it looking like Lumpkin. <laughs> oh, it's sad, but it's, it's so true. All right, first and 10. From the 19. In 07, you revived the Boston University football team that discontinued in 97. Nice. Yeah, I had a NCAA 14 series going with the Tampa Spartans. I resurrected them. But my editing software um, ended up killing some of the, the files. Just, it corrupted them. So I had to discontinue the series, unfortunately. Get him. Oh, it's a face mask. Come on, Caleb. Come on, bro. Caleb Chubb, the top-rated defensive tackle in the EFL prospect pool with a face mask. He is going to be a problem in the pros. All right, first and goal from the four. Huskies threatening. And a bad throw behind the receiver. Second goal now. Fullback dive. And he is almost in. Dropped to the one yard line by RJ Simons, the sophomore corner. And third and goal from the one coming up just outside the goal line. Play action. Incomplete. Oh my goodness. Are they going to go for it? They are. They are going to go for it. Fourth and goal from the one. Can we get a stand? Fritz with a great career so far. Quarterback. My goodness. The Huskies might be dangerous next season. Unless he's a senior. And well, they're probably done. They're going to throw it. Deflected away by Trey Henry the third. Let's go. Get off the field. Huge stop. Wow. White Geddes gets the carry, and he gets away from the end zone up to about the 7.5-yard line. Oh, my goodness. What a stand by the defense. Come on, Jaquan. Get there, buddy. Oh, just deflected away at the last second. All right. Third down and two. Let's give it off to the big fella, Tyreek Taylor, who is also going to be a stud at the next level. Bruising halfback with the truck stick. Come on now. There's the first down. Too easy. Our first first down of the game. With less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Get him the ball again. Nice blocking downfield. This could be huge. Tyreek. 
Still going. Tyreek Taylor to the 47. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to have a Marshawn Lynch beast quake down the sideline. Imagine if you got away from the entire defense right there. All right, let's hand it off to somebody else. Lito Lozano. And not a whole lot of blocking. Lozano's going to get stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. And that's going to do it for the first quarter, guys. It is still 0-0. Zero to zero. Anybody's ball game here in Davis, California. Under the lights. Definitely a rough start, but we got some momentum after that goal line stand when they were an inch away from the end zone for, what, two, three straight plays. Now our offense is driving after a couple nice runs. Throw it up top. Owens has it to the 26. Let's go. Dropping dime. How good is 09 on the PS? NCA 09 is pretty decent on on the PS2, in my opinion. Oh, uh, the run game is a little iffy. You have to, at least for me, I had to adjust some sliders for that. And what a throw and catch to Williams! Oh my goodness! You could turn off jump the snap, can't you, Marvin? In 09, I believe. I could be mistaken on that. I haven't played on 9 in um, at least a year. Alright, first and go from the 5 yard line. Get that block. You did not get the block. Good lord. Oh no, Ashley Jackson has injured her chest on the play. Oh boy. We're on our third string quarterback now. And she was doing good too. She was making some really good throws. But the O-line, yet again, letting us down. Tyreek Taylor has to break two tackles just to get two yards. Third and goal coming up. I don't trust this quarterback, but... I'm going to throw it anyway. Who is this? Barkley? Or Barclay? Let's throw it short. Nicholas Warner down to the two. We're going to have to kick a field goal here. That quarterback is slow as molasses. Castle Ford in the chat. What's going on, Castle? Welcome, buddy. Jump snap is a feature you couldn't turn off. Gotcha. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I know you could turn off the stupid camera angle on kick returns. I know that. Except for 07, which is when it was introduced. And I can't stand that game because of it. Field goal. Up and good. We finally got some points in the game after an 11 play, 98 yard drive. Took 3.06 off the clock. We get a field goal. It's 3 nothing. UC Davis on top. UC Davis looking like Dallas in the quarterback department. Oof. Oof. <laughs> One player you could think of who went to UC Davis was Ken O'Brien, who played for the Jets in the 80s. Yes, sir. Ken O'Brien was the head coach for the Aggies when we started the series. And Jack Christie took over last season. Sit down, son. Get out my face. And, oh boy, Ashley Jackson out for the game with an abdominal strain. Oh, my goodness. 
Good old abdominal strain. You got to love it. Oh, it's picked off. RJ Simons, let's go. Defense, you got to step it up, and you did. We're on our third string quarterback who has Drew Bledsoe speed and a Tim Tebow arm. So we, we need defense to step up. We need our, our run game to pick it up a little bit more and get some touchdowns on the board. Because Northeastern, I know their record is not so good. But I'm not sure what happened to them this season. Maybe some injuries, but their offense is pretty decent as far as their talent level. Execution, maybe not so much, but... Oh, boy. This game definitely got interesting, for sure. Second down and 10. Tyreek Taylor. Oh, he got rocked. But he picks up five yards up the middle. Gonna have to throw it. Nice deflection. Well, we're just gonna kick field goals here today, folks. This quarterback is not so good. I'm not even I don't even want to see his overall. I don't want to see it. Dave Green's field goal up and good. Aggies on the board again. Six and nothing. They got the pistol in 07. Nice. I love the pistol. That that is my favorite playbook is the pistol offense. I'm pretty sure my kicker is as fast as my quarterback right now. I'm just going to throw that out there. Ashley's injury is a result of the last game. So hurtful. Fritz in the zone at quarterback. No! Oof, he has been overthrowing his receivers all game so far. Third and four coming up. Can we get another quick stop? Huskies 0 for 3 on third downs in the game. And he caught that. Oh my goodness. Wow. What's up with the left tackle? He got killed again. I don't know, man. It's a different. It's a different left tackle now. So I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. O line for the Aggies is just not up to snuff. That's for sure. Got the quarterbacks overall 60, Tyler. <laughs> it probably is, buddy. At least in the 60s for sure. Get that pick. Oh, come on, Pryor. You got to pick that, my guy. Second and ten coming up. This is going to be a very low-scoring affair. Caleb Chubb in the zone at deep tackle. And a great tackle by Trey Henry III, the All-American free safety. Third and seven upcoming from the 49-yard line. Nevada's pistol offense is fun to watch. Yes, sir, with Colin Kaepernick. Oh, my goodness. I love that offense. It was disgustingly good. Nice deflection. R.J. Simons having a day. We get another stop. And fair catch. So we're at our nine-yard line. We can't throw the football right now. Good thing we have three halfbacks on the roster, but our offensive line is just continuously letting us down right now. Good blocking by the receiving core instead. Let's go up to the 25. White get us.
Get that block. Tyreek Taylor to the outside. And reaches for the first down, and he gets it. Over 1,100 rushing yards, 15 touchdowns on the season for him. I'm going to try to throw a corner route, and it's probably going to end terribly. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Come on, Barkley. Oh, my goodness. Sam Gatlin. Let's go. All right, Lozano. This old line. Oh my goodness, how did I get out of that? Good run from Lozano. Picks up eight yards. Have no idea how I got positive yards out of that. But I'll take it. Nice catch. Travis Owens. And he escapes and gets out of bounds to save the clock. Okay. Allen is the only player to have 10,000 passing and 4,000 rushing because of that offense? Yes, sir. That offense is my favorite of all time was Nevada with Colin Kaepernick. And then my second favorite offense of all time was Oregon when they had... Oh, he's wide open. He's wide open. Oh, good deflection. My goodness. Uh, Oregon's offense when they had uh, LaMichael James and DeAnthony Thomas, That it was just filthy. I loved watching that team. People forget how good Colin was. They, yeah, they do. They just like to, you know, rag on him for recent things and forget about what he did as a player. But it's all good because he is the starting quarterback for the Texas Outlaws in the EFL. So we'll be seeing him. Don't you worry. Outlaws are the favorite to win the first ever EFL championship game. Come on, break that tackle, baby. That's a face mask. Thank you. Gonna take the offense to the West Coast passing style, throw it short and quick. Yes, sir. Uh, a medium ranged corner route for this quarterback is about the farthest he can throw it. I see you, Warner. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. I had Owens over the middle. I thought it was L1. That's my bad. Favorite Oregon Uni? Oh, man. They have like 12 million combinations. That's a good question, though. I, I just think about that. Lozano, off tackle. And he is dragged out of bounds at the, or not, okay, the clock is still going. 32 from the four yard line. Stan Fouts still the greatest quarterback play for the Ducks? No, absolutely not. Mariota, for sure. 32, White Geddes, touchdown, UC Davis, we get on the board. Stay tuned for the delayed UC Davis Stadium sound. Come on, sound. There it is. All right, this game's over. We don't need to score anymore. It's fine. All right, 13 nothing. 11 seconds left on the clock. 
Come on, Huntsberger. Make a play, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Eight seconds to go in the half. Try to keep it on the ground. Nice broken tackle. And another one. Grant picks up two yards. That is going to be the end of the first half. Number 14, UC Davis on top. 13 to nothing with their third string quarterback. Luckily, we, we get the ball. If UC Davis can get an offensive line, this team is going to be contending for the national championship next season. I'm just, I'm going to throw that out there right now. Because their O-line just ain't cutting it, bruh. Ain't cutting it. All right, Tyreek, what are we doing, buddy? Let's go right side. And, okay, no blocking again. So with a running back like Tyreek Taylor, like, he should be having 1,500 rushing yards at this point in the season. He's got about, uh, I think, 1,150 right now, which is still really good. But if he had some blocking, he'd be doing even better. Quick strike, and this quarterback is god-awful. I'm just going to hand it off. Honestly, like, what else is there to do? What was the lowest scoring game in FCS history in this series? I don't know. Uh, Jay would know that. Let him know, Jay. Let him know. Lozano, left side. He's got the first down and more. Let's go. Lozano, down the sideline, up inside the 40, down to the 36-yard line of Northeastern. What a run from the junior. My goodness. Be the fourth guy on Mount Rushmore for Oregon. Oh man. Good questions. Good questions. Probably DeAnthony Thomas, just for what he did for the team. In my opinion. Second down and seven coming up. Could also put Haloti Nada up there as well. He was a beast. And Taylor falls forward, picking up two or three yards. Stick around after the game, guys. We'll take a look at the final regular season top 25. And the Heisman voting again. I don't think there's going to be much change in that. Um, but then we'll look at the conference championship schedule. All that fun stuff. Conference Championship Week next week, guys. It's going to be fun. Nice blocking. Lozano to the 20-yard line. First down, Aggies. He's got 73 yards on six tries. Jay Washington incoming with the lowest scoring game stat. Give him a moment. Okay, Taylor. Okay, Tyreek. Okay, Tyreek. Let's go. That was filthy. Oof. Oh, that was so disgusting. Let's go. Showing some agility. What if Chip Kelly never leaves Oregon? Well, they'd probably end up getting to at least one or two more national championships. But I don't think they'd win them. They didn't have defense. I think the closest Oregon will ever come to a title is that game against Auburn. They were so close, just a couple plays away.
Lozano and Lozano the third. There's actually three Lozanos that play. There's Raul, there's Lito, and there's Joseph. And then, oh my goodness, don't leave your feet, RJ. What are you doing, my guy? And then just regular old Raul Lozano is the coach of the Cal Poly Mustangs. Moving through traffic like your mama's new hairdo. Oh my goodness, Marvin. <laughs> That's great. Fritz with only seven more passing yards than Ashley Jackson, and she hasn't been in the game for over a quarter. Play action. Oh, I should have had that pick. Instead, I get a face mask. <laughs> Caleb Chubb in the zone at D-tackle. Action again. And another nice pass to Horton over the middle. First down, Huskies. And they are driving. Still that line from Dawkins. Nice. He always had great one liners. He really did. thinking of stuff on the fly like that. Full back. Okay. Gets a couple yards. Third down coming up for Northeastern. They gotta go, what, eight yards? Third and eight, yes sir. Oh, nice deflection from Simons, let's go. He's having a great game. And they're gonna go for it, fourth and eight. Can the defense come through and get another stop on fourth down against the Huskies? Nope. Nice catch by Horton. He beats Pryor bad to the 10-yard line. Horton, I believe he's got 100 yards receiving now on the day. They have to get just to the outside of the end zone for another first down. Last time they got that close, they got stuffed. Three straight plays, or four straight, rather. Nice tackle by Zeus Williams. Miles Dawkins on the Discord? I don't think so. I mean, he's not in our Discord, that's for sure. That would be sick, though. Nice catch. Horton is that dude. Touchdown, Huskies. Just can't guard the guy. He is really good. Got ourselves a ball game, folks. You should definitely get a PS2, Michael. 100%. I got mine for 50 bucks, I think. I've had it for um, almost pretty much the entire time I've had this computer. And the PS2 is going to outlast the computer, so. Alright, Lito, let's get it, baby. No blocking. Sick. Not a lot of offense in this ball game. Sure does not help that we are on our third string quarterback. 
See, this is why, you know, a lot of the teams have, you know, a handful of quarterbacks. And, you know, people always rag on them. Well, why do they have so many, you know, Discord and subscriber quarterbacks? Well, it's because of reasons like this. The Aggies, they've only got two subscriber quarterbacks. And both of them are injured. So, look what we have to do. We just have to keep pounding the rock and hope it's enough to win the game. Instead of having, you know, a competent quarterback who can actually throw the football. Like South Dakota State, they've got what, four quarterbacks. All of them could be their starter. VMI, they've only got one quarterback, so they're in rough shape if Hops goes down. Uh-oh. This left tackle situation is unbearable for me. Don't matter who I put there. I'm about to put Tyreek Taylor in at left tackle. He'd probably do better. All right, let's go. Let's hand it off to Lozano. What's up, Madden 04 as well, Mike? Get it. Get it. Let's go, Lito. Another first down. He is just tearing up the left side of the field. 87 yards for Lito Lozano. Without Miles, you would never have started playing the PS2 again. Nice. I never stopped playing the PS2. It's always been my favorite. Gonna send your PS2 to East Starland to get the laser replaced. Nice. About time, Marvin. You've only been talking about it for months and months, man. Alright, Rick Taylor, first down inside the 40 yard line. We're up over 200 yards rushing in the game now. That's gonna be the final play of the third quarter. Guys, get your fours up in the chat. Got ourselves a ball game. It's 20 to 7 here in Davis, California on homecoming night. Hopefully we can hang on and get this dub and go into the bowl season with, what, nine victories? I believe the Aggies are eight and three currently. Technically, if we win this game, Ashley Jackson will get her uh, her second straight win as a starter, even though she went down for injury with an ab strain. Without Optimus, she wouldn't have revived your appetite to customize teams. Nice. Oh, you got the PS2 Slim, Alex? Oof. I got the big fat boy. It's the only way to do it. Come on, Lozano. Let's go, baby. Inside the red zone, out of the 18. Lozano's having a great game. Probably the best of the season for him. He might be over 100 yards rushing with that one. Okay, nice juke. And Taylor, first and goal, Aggies. He's over 100 yards rushing. Let's go. And he's in the zone. Let's get it. You don't know how you can get your Xbox 360 replaced? Just get a new one, Parker. Do it. Oh my goodness, touchdown Aggies. He's just too strong. So glad we can rely on the running game. I thought it was going to be really rough because the offensive line just has not been doing too well, but we found some some decent runs to the outsides for Lozano to the left to open it up a little bit. And anytime Tyreek Taylor gets the ball, he's going to fall forward no matter what. Get 
Get him. Oh, nice hit. You like your slim? It lasted way longer than your fat PS2 ever did. Nice. Everybody has different experiences with with systems. So, I had a, a slim before, and it. Um, I think when I was like 14, it only lasted maybe six months. Quick strike to the halfback, Grant. Gonna do an all HBCU conference. Nice, Michael. I like it. So what we got here. We got SEC and the ACC, except for well, with the exception of William and Mary and uh, and Bryant, all the teams are HBCUs and Jacksonville. Yes, but it just made sense to have Jacksonville be in the Southeastern Conference, you know. They're down in three, coming up for the Huskies. They're down 20. PS2 is the GOAT. Yes, sir. The best console of all time. This is picked off by Zeus Williams. Let's go. Zeus Almighty. God of Thunder himself. Tyree Taylor again. Oh my goodness, the juke. And down to the 11 yard line. First and 10 from the 11. They're outside linebackers in the zone. Just trying to run this clock down as much as we can here. And just get out of here with a dub without getting anybody else injured. And Taylor gets a couple. He's got 128 yards in the day. Very nice, very nice. If you need any ideas for your HBCU conference, Mike, um, I have the conferences posted, just um, little videos on the channel for the Dynasty. At least the Power 5 conferences. Well, six. Did I do one for the Ivy League, which is the Big East? I don't think I did. That's pretty self-explanatory. And Lozano down to the three-yard line. Pretty good career for him. Almost 3,000 yards rushing, 23 touchdowns. Not too shabby. Favorite HBCU is Southern. Nice, the Jaguars. Mr. Highlight did a Southern Jaguars uh, dynasty. Ozano drops short of the sticks. That's all right, let's get the field goal. I'll take it. Harris Gurley in the chat. What's up, Harris? I may have missed this field goal. Let me go to the right. Nope, we got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. 30 to 7 is the score. You know what you could do, Michael? You could uh, make the the MAC conference the MEAC. And the Sun Belt could be the SWAC. Kind of similar names, right? Nice. Oh, I thought he caught that. Huge hit by Elijah Christian.
Oh my goodness. Zeus Williams almost had another one. <coughs> you do an FCS Dynasty next time you play online. You do a better job on the geography. What are you trying to say, Marvin? You don't like my geography? Fritz going up top. Deflected away by RJ Simons. Too easy. And they're going to go for it from their own 23-yard line. Are you serious? What are they doing? I can't remember the last time I saw the computer do this. And he is going to be sacked. Oh, my goodness. Who got him? I don't even know who that is. You like that idea, Michael? I see. I see. I literally just came up with it. I have good ideas once in a while, you know? Every once in a while. Come on, Wyatt. What kind of run was that, my guy? We got five trips to the red zone in the game. Two touchdowns, three field goals. Not a whole lot of blocking on the left side again, but Geddes does pick up a few yards. He's got 460 yards this season, five touchdowns. Not too shabby. In that number three halfback role. And we got absolutely destroyed. We're going to kick another field goal. We're putting Dave Green to work today. This is his fourth field goal in the red zone today. This O-line, though, my goodness. Imagine if the Aggies had a good offensive line. Just imagine it. Oh, they really called a timeout on us. Okay. I missed that big time. No, I didn't. His kick power is just so good. It just boots it so far, so fast. 33 to 7 is the score. Green with four field goals on the day. Stopped by Zachary Hyde, the junior linebacker. And Fritz. Oh my goodness, that was almost picked off. Very awkward throw from Fritz. And it is third and 14 coming up. Tyreek Taylor played the game for the Aggies. Horton played the game for the Huskies. Over 100 yards receiving on seven catches with a touchdown. Andrew Jackson in the zone of defensive end. And they do not get enough for the first down. Fourth and five coming up. And they call a timeout just to punt it away. Okay then. You do the Mud Dogs, but edit Boucher into the 99 overall middle linebacker. Yes, sir. 99 for everything. Throw power, speed, kicking, all of it. Come on, Jaquan, let's get it. Jaquan Brown down the left sideline, dragged down to 42.
Lozano up the middle. Look out. Bobbing and weaving through the refs. <laughs> Lozano up to 155 yards rushing on 12 carries. Alright, let's kneel it down. Get on out of here with the dub without any more injuries. And we'll take a look at the Conference Championship Week matchups. And then we'll get on out of here, guys. All the quarterbacks for the Aggies will be at full health for the bowl season. That is it. 14th ranked UC Davis Aggies win it 33-7 over the Northeastern Huskies in Davis, California on homecoming night. Loving all the dynasty talk in the chat, guys. I'm loving it. All right, let's take a look at these stats. Defense held the Huskies to just 155 yards of offense. We dominated. We absolutely dominated time of possession. I can't wait to see it. We get sacked four times, though. Oof. O-line is just non-existent. We had two takeaways. We did fumble once, but we recovered it. I can't remember who recovered it, though. Time of possession, we had it for 16 minutes. They had it for 8. Love to see it. And the game's over in the second quarter, basically. Grambling State versus Jacksonville. Yes, sir. SEC. I mean, we pretty much know the matchups. Uh, Norfolk State and Bryant for the ACC. And VMI, North Dakota State for the Big 12. I'd like to see the other games, though. Jackson, 3 of 6, 57 yards. Sacked three times. She got beat up in this ballgame. Running backs did fantastic. Lozano, 155 yards and no touchdowns, though. Nine broken tackles for Tyreek Freak Taylor. Brown with a drop today. Cole Hewitt, you are awful, my friend. Defense, not a whole lot of stats on the defensive side of the football. I mean, they weren't really on the field too long, so to be expected. Sack for Lewis Johnson. Zeus Williams and RJ Simons had interceptions. Six deflections for the defense. No forced fumbles, nothing like that. No defensive touchdowns. Dave Green, four of four field goals, along with 35. Three of three extra points. And eight kickoffs, two touchbacks. Michael Durbin. He's he's just really not that good at punting. He really isn't. And that is it for the game stats. All right, Horton, Vincent, and Bush players of the game for the Huskies. Taylor, Green, and Lozano players of the game for the Aggies. We're gonna advance it into the championship week. It's probably going to save right after this as well. And we'll take a look, guys. So the Aggies finished the regular season 9-3. and three. They got a shot at a 10-win season. If you haven't already, guys, slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. Southern Utah wins the Pac-10 Championship. We knew that. Dayton has won the Big Ten. So we'll most likely see them in the Rose Bowl. Unless something crazy happens and they somehow get into the title game. And we still, we're still getting commits somehow. I'm not doing recruiting. I, there's nobody on the recruiting boards for, for any school. 
All right, number two, Jacksonville. Taking on Grambling State, number 18 in the country. VMI and North Dakota State in the Big 12 title game. Bryant and number seven, Norfolk State. Look at all of these teams with 10 and 11 wins. Central Michigan, Buffalo, that is a huge game. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm so excited for these three games. I can't wait. Hurry up and save. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, Buffalo is at number four. So if Jacksonville loses and then North Dakota State loses to VMI, Buff we can see Buffalo taking on VMI in the national championship game. That It would be crazy. I'm not sure if uh, if Jacksonville's going to lose that game, though. I mean, Michael Hines, he is on a tear this season. He's definitely going to win the Heisman, 100%. If he doesn't, it's it's a travesty. But the Chippewas taking on Buffalo. That's going to be a really good game, I think. I'm surprised Central Michigan is that low at number 10 with just one loss. Regear Productions in the chat. What's up, Noah? The now Pac-10 champion coach of Southern Utah. All right, so here are the matchups. This is obviously the game of the week. Number one versus number three. It's going to be insane. In a big stadium in Houston, Texas. This game in Atlanta, Georgia, of course. Marvin's stomping grounds. Graham McSane ain't losing. <laughs> Winning. Oh my goodness. Come on, Marvin. And Richmond versus UTEP. So UTEP potentially could lose two games here this season. That's going to be a fun game to watch, though. Alright, so predictions in the chat. Who you guys got winning this game? The SEC title game and the Big 12 and the ACC. I think Bryant is going to win that game. I think VMI is going to win this one. I think it's going to be close, though. I think it's going to be really close. And obviously, I think Jacksonville is going to probably run away with this game. Although, I'm not going to count the Tigers out, though. They have the number three passing offense in the country. Over 350 yards passing. Their quarterback leads all players in this entire dynasty in career passing yards, over 10,000 of those things. You want VMI and Jacksonville in the title game? Because of the offensive firepower, it would be a lot of fun to watch. Stakes are high. Number one, VMI, and number three, North Dakota State, set to square off for the Big 12 title. Top 25 polls. The MAC championship game boasts a battle of top 10 teams. I doubt we see any movement here. It was only one week 16 game. Yeah, no movement. Three straight weeks. So I'm not even going to update the uh, top 25 until the end of the season. Heisman watch. No movement most likely. Nobody's putting up better numbers than Zoomer Speed. You are mistaken. Michael Hines has 65 touchdowns. What do you mean? I think JU, VMI, and Bryant are going to win. Nice, nice. I like it. Solid predictions. Of course, Zuma Speed does have 36 touchdowns total. That's that's kind of crazy. Just not good enough, though, unfortunately. All right, that's it, guys. That is it. These are our next three games. Uh, let's see. What is today? Today is the 5th. You know, I might get crazy with it and play all three games tomorrow. I don't know. Instead of waiting until next week. We'll see how I'm feeling. But in a perfect world, I would play all three of these games tomorrow during the day. That would be ideal. And then Monday we'd start our bowl season. But that's going to be it for this stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community to get yourself on one of our 12 schools in this series. There's a link in the description below. The next time I see you guys, we'll be with the number two Jacksonville Dolphins hosting 
the Rambling State Tigers. Well, not really hosting, but SEC Championship game in Atlanta, Georgia. Then we'll have the Big 12 Championship, number three, North Dakota State versus number one, undefeated VMI, rocking a 23-game winning streak dating back to last season. Should be a crazy good game. And number 15, Bryant Bulldogs, taking on the Norfolk State Spartans in Jacksonville, Florida, in the ACC Championship game. The Spartans, they beat uh, Savannah State this season, so they are definitely a formidable foe. Uh, they, they beat them pretty handily as well. I, I got smacked in that game. I couldn't do a damn thing. But that's it for the stream, guys. I will see you soon. Take it easy.